welcome back to the casual puzzler my name is emily welcome to my first day of my advent calendar christmas series i need to have a fun name for it so if you can think of any fun names that includes wine and christmas and puzzling let me know down in the comments below because I feel like I do need like a catchy name. I don't have a thing yet, so that would be helpful. But we are going into these advent calendars. Now, I do want you know the wine advent calendar did not arrive today. It was supposed to and it did show up, but then no one was here to sign for it. So it is arriving tomorrow. Um, but I do have the puzzles and I do have this glass of wine, which is just from a local winery here where I live. So I do have some wine and I do have some advent calendars. So let's take out day one of all three of these. Now, if you missed yesterday's video, this one here, which is the Michael Storing's advent calendar from Gallison, I screwed up and one of you said, hey, mine came with perforated pouches. And I did not realize that because the way mine was taped, it didn't come out the correct way. So it ended up just coming out. Anyways, my fault. So I do have a little cutouts. So you do go in order. So I wanted to mention that. And they also, it also comes with a poster of all 12 puzzles. So that way you have something to go by. So that was really helpful. Thank you so much for letting me know. The odd days I will be doing this one here, which is the Michael Storings one. And then on the even days, I do have another one from Gallison. So they're not going to be like in order, like by number, but they will be in order. But you know, you get the picture. So let's go into day one of this guy. Pop, oh, do you want to see me do this? So it just has like these perforated edges. And I'll take this guy out here. The little opening is smaller than the bag. Let me try to get this out. All right, we got our baggy of puzzle pieces. So, and then this one is the Mickey Mouse and Friends that I got at Target. And it also has punch outs, but they are not in order. So let me see. Oh, I see it. This one here. All right. And the pictures of that one are all on the back in case you're curious. And then the third advent calendar is the New York puzzle calendar. And we are just gonna open this guy up and get box number one. So those are my three advent calendars. So let's just dive into these. Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. Here is puzzle number one from Gallison. This one was super fun. I did not use the image and it took me 12 minutes. So not too bad. It is 80 pieces in case you're curious. And just a nice winter scene. Really sturdy pieces. Can pick up the whole thing. And let's move on to puzzle number two, which will be the Mickey Mouse. It will always be Christmas in my heart, but this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family, making angels in the sand you read me. Doesn't matter, it is Christmas in my heart. Here is puzzle number two it took me about seven minutes it's 40 pieces and this one is very crumbly pretty much every piece goes together um so i just wanted to mention that but super fun image they are they remind me of the disney puzzle that i did that was the uh the stretching room it's almost identical pieces so they're long and skinny and they are again very loose fitting and more of a matte finish Moving on to the New York Puzzle Company puzzle. This one comes in a box versus the other ones, so it looks, looks really nice. And then inside the box, there is a bag of pieces. This one is 100 pieces, so let's just continue on. <laughs> I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas. 
Christmas times. Having a good, good time. Here is puzzle number three, which I really enjoyed. It took me 22 minutes to do, and I also did not use the box on this one. A little bit more tricky because it's more like brush strokes, so the colors kind of melt together and scatter throughout the image, but I really liked it, and I like that it was a little bit more challenging because, I mean, you're paying a lot of money for this advent calendar, so you don't want to go through it super quick. Um, but really love this one. Well, I just tried to pick it up and that's just not gonna happen with this one Not as bad as the Mickey Mouse one, but still I don't know why you're picking up your puzzles But in case you do this one will be tricky. Here are all three next to each other This one is clearly the largest one double the size of the Gallison and then this one is significantly smaller than the two of them I will say I did enjoy the quality of the Scalson one more than the Mickey Mouse one um, But this one just is nice sturdy pieces that are like their traditional New York puzzle pieces All right, I am back. I really enjoyed all three of these puzzles I do think for the best bang for your buck, I would go with Gallison if you are wanting to try one, just because the quality is really nice and lovely. You know, I can pick up the puzzle pieces, no problem. The puzzle pieces are really sturdy, and the image was really fun as well. I know the Gallison one does only have 12 puzzles in it, but you can get two for the same cost as if you were to get the Mickey Mouse one, and the quality is like a thousand times better. So not to say that the Mickey Mouse one has poor quality, but, but it definitely is lower quality than the other two by a lot. So now we have the New York Puzzle one. It is very expensive, but I really like the image and I like that it took me a little bit longer to do and I like that it has like a keepsake box so you can use it for years to come. So I really enjoyed that one as well. I would say maybe towards the end of the season if it's on sale, I would say snag it just because it is a really lovely item to have in your Christmas decor. So that's it for me today. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye guys.